Welcome back to our YouTube channel. In today's tutorial, we will be discussing how to pass data from service to component in Angular 16. This tutorial will assume a basic knowledge of Angular. If you are new to Angular, be sure to check out our beginner's guide first that we have recorded in the previous videos in our channel. So now let's get started. First, let's create a new service in your Angular project. By the way, I already have generated my new Angular project by using ngcli command ng new and then you will have to provide the project name. After your project is created, you have to start your Angular project by using ngserve-o in your browser. Once it is set up and running in your browser, you are ready to generate your service. So now let us create our service in your terminal type ng generate service and data this command will generate a service named data you can see the newly created files data dot service in the left sidebar now let's add some data to our service open the data dot service file and edit it like I'm doing <coughs> first of all I will be adding the private message source is equal to new behavior subject so make sure to import the behavior subject from the rxjs and give it a default value now create a property current message is equal to this dot message source dot as observable now create a function change message and receive a parameter message of type string and now in that function we will emit the signal from the message source that is behavior subject use dot next function and in the next we will pass the message that we will be receiving from the parameter now I will explain a little bit here in this service we are using rxjs behavior subject a behavior subject holds the value that needs to be shared with the other components. These components subscribe to the behavior subject to get the current value. Now let's use this service in our component. Let's assume we have a component named app.component and then open the app.component.html. I will remove the existing content from there. Open its TypeScript file and here I will define a property message type would be string and give it a default value now create a constructor to inject a service that we just created that is data service now in the constructor we will subscribe to our behavior subject from the data service that is data dot current message dot subscribe and in that subscribe function we will pass our callback function and in that callback function we will receive the message and then once we get that message we will set that message to the local message property of this class so in this code we are importing our data service and subscribing to the current message observable in the ng uh, in the constructor the message from the services is then stored in the local message variable now let's also modify the home component let's also modify the app component dot html to display that message so here i will add a heading and below i will add the message all right you can see that our default message is visible so this message is visible because we are currently using angular's string interpolation to display the message we received from the service now let's say we want to change the message in the service from another component just add a button in app.component.html now on button click we will call a function change message and i will pass my message in the parameter now we have to define this change method change message method in our TypeScript class so receive the message and now I will access my data service in this component 
I will call the change message function that is available in the data service and then I will pass my incoming message to that function as a parameter once I do that the change will be triggered or event will be triggered in the behavior subject that we have defined in the data service so we are already subscribing to that event or behavior subject so we will immediately get that new message and we can save that message in the local message property so let's try it save it now if you click on the change message you will immediately see the change that we just triggered and that's it that's how you can pass data from a service to a component in angular 16 remember services are great way to share data across components and using a behavior subject makes it possible to easily share and update this data if you found this video tutorial helpful then please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our youtube channel for more coding tutorials thanks for watching and see you next time goodbye